Hello everyone, this is Frank with Little Al, and uh, I have crazy hair today. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a pallet. It's gonna be exciting. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I remember how to build it with lack of sleep. But um, let's see, I don't know if I can turn this. So I'm gonna build it right there. The um, truck is gonna come in there. He's gonna pick it up. Uh, it's gonna be a lift gate service. So for those of you without a, um, a truck or uh, one of the things that lifts it up, uh, I forget what, they're forget what they're called. But for those of you without an actual um, truck port, this would, this would be how to do it. And I'm, I'm assuming most of you, if you do run a, a small operation, uh, you would need a lift gate. So first, you get the pallets. And you put them over there. So it's gonna be cut a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try to do as much instruction as I can. I don't have anyone here to hold a camera, unfortunately, but we're gonna figure that out as we go. All right, so I'll see you in All a right. second. So right now, this is gonna go on two pallets. Uh, that one looks a little weird, so we're gonna put the um, small amount on that one. This one's gonna get the big load. So, thing about pallets, and right over there, this is the stuff we're gonna stick on a pallet. So for Amazon, you're gonna to wanna to have your labels on each boxes to correspond with the box number. And you're going to have, you're gonna need, you're gonna need your um, BOL. This is what you're gonna to give to the driver. That's the money we found in books. Always check your books. And this is what we're gonna wrap around um, uh, when we complete the pallet. So two main stipulations for an Amazon pallet. One, it can't be higher than 72 inches, and that's including the base. So for uh, for newbies or people who are just getting into this, make sure to measure with some measuring tape. Uh, that's uh, It's pretty essential. Second is that, has, that, that cannot exceed 1,500 pounds. So uh, that's, uh, that's why we have two pallets, because that right there, even if you do an estimate, it's going to be somewhere between um, 2,000 to 2,500. And yeah. Yeah. Hey, we don't want that. Either uh, we'd, we'd, we wouldn't want the pallet to break. Uh, we wouldn't want Amazon to send a pallet back to us. So it's always best just to follow the guidelines. Uh, don't screw with anyone. And all right. So I'm going to start building the pallet. Uh, these type of boxes are awesome. Uh, I will give you the exact dimensions in the description below. But I found them awesome for building pallets. The Home Depot boxes are a next step up. They're small enough to um, play Jenga with. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to come back and I'm, you're going to see the first um, the base that I'm going to put on. And then we're going to start building from there. So now we have a solid base. Um, as you can see. We have a little bit of room on every side. Uh, you're gonna wanna try to get it as center as possible. So, just make sure. So now that we have the base right here, we're going to set them the opposite way. Uh, think of Jenga. If you don't know what Jenga is, Google it. It's a game where you try to do stuff and I'm not gonna explain that to you. I'm gonna show you how to build a pallet. So, this is the first one. We're gonna go, we're gonna lay it like this. Next, we're gonna lay it like this. And um, you know, of course, my hand gestures aren't gonna show you much, but this next part will show you what I'm talking about. All right, now you see what I'm talking about. This uh, the bottom part is long ways. Well, this is more a horizontal or a vertical thing that you're seeing right now. This right here. All right, those are just cars. This right here actually gives um, more structural support to the pallet make sure it doesn't fall and uh, make sure it is stable throughout the course of the um, the pallet's lifespan so now we're just going to alternate so uh, let's see since this is uh since this is flat right here and this is vertical the next one is going to be flat this one's going to be vertical I'm going to start building it so you guys can see it, and then I'm going to go around it so you guys can see a lifetime example. All right, guys. So this should be the finished product that you see. Um, like I said, 
just alternate through these. This is gonna allow it to be stable when you're going, when it's uh, being transported. So as you can see, it's pretty big. It's almost to my shoulder. Uh, not too bad. Uh, of course, I could do it a little bit higher. Right now, this is currently about um, uh, 63 inches, including the base. So it could be a bit higher. I put that box on top because it is only 10 pounds, so it's not really going to change the weight too much. Um, of course, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, <coughs> I did an ex estimate on the weight of um, all these boxes. I got a total of 36 boxes plus that other box, so 37. Uh, these boxes right here only ho hold about 40 pounds max. Uh, so those boxes are really easy to estimate because most of them are around 38 to 40 pounds. Uh, there's really uh, nothing going over uh, over that. So total, total estimated weight here is about 400 or 1430. 1430 or 1440 so not bad I do like to save a little extra room when it comes to Amazon because they can pull some shenanigans uh, stuff I don't want to deal with so now that this is completed we can get this set up but first we're not finished with this one we have to wrap it so you can get wrap at any local Walmart uh, that's the brand we use it's probably cheaper for you in the long run to get it uh, shrink wrap pretty easy so we got this all pallets need to be shrink wrapped because if you put this in a truck by this by itself it's going to collapse going to break everywhere this is the stuff that's going to hold it together oh, oh there's cars there's cars all right sorry about that but go a couple around uh, unfortunately i cannot tape this and do it at the same time since i need both hands so I'm gonna need to show you a finished product. Uh, the tricky thing is, I did want to I did want to do this one box here just to show you how it kind of looks when you're wrapping everything and it's not all symmetrical. So it's gonna be a good example for you guys who have an odd box out. All right, I'll see you when it's wrapped. <sighs> all right, I'm a little dizzy because you gotta go around and around so many times. But this is what it looks like. This is what a uh, an okay wrap job looks like. You have to make sure this is attached to the base. You got to make sure everything's covered. I did it a couple times. I always go around a couple times. Make sure to cover everything from the front to the base. Um, once you get more experienced, the more experienced people like to uh, tie this to the pallet. Uh, I would definitely recommend that, but uh, I suck at tying knots, so I can't really show you that, unfortunately. So now, now that we wrapped it, this really isn't going to go anywhere, as you can see. This uh, may jiggle around a bit, but it's kind of stuck to the top and going down. So after this, after it's all wrapped, the only thing you do is Amazon has you print uh, these things right here. And you just, uh, you just apply it to each side. So I'm going to do that now. Right, now that you put on everything, now that you put everything on um, all the sides, this is what a completed pallet should look like. Oh, that's down a little. So, pretty nice, all wrapped up, ready to go. Um, whenever the truck comes, it's gonna come from that entrance. It's gonna pull up here, and then they're gonna get a pallet jack out, stick it on the lift gate, and lift it up to the truck. So, now that I have this, there's still that. And I have this little bit left. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a pallet if you have two different types of boxes. So of course we're going to start with the smaller ones first. Uh, in this case anyway. Because this, these type of boxes can have a more firm base since they're longer. These ones are more squared so they need to be um, put up more. So this one's going to give a solid foundation for us on this. Of course every situation is different make sure to keep the dimensions of your box in mind when you're building it of course you can have many different size boxes in it it just can't fall apart so the more structured you can get this the more likely your pallet's going to succeed so i'm going to see you when i put the first thing on there and then we're going to work our way up just like we did the last pallet this is what it looks like 
How you doing? Sorry, some other guy was walking. I don't want to interrupt his mood. So, I did a look around. Um, this is kind of how to build it. Make sure to um, keep it centered. Make sure to try and line everything up the best you can. Uh, I lucked out on this one. So now, same thing with this one. We gotta wrap it, make sure it's uh, nice and tight, and put those labels on there. So I'm gonna show you the finished product of both, and then we'll be done. So this is what two finished pallets look like. They're wrapped, they're ready to go. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is wherever I stuck the BOL. So the BOL is what you're gonna hand to the driver once he puts those in his trailer. Um, this is generated off of Amazon, for those of you doing Amazon. Uh, you need two copies. Uh, you give both the driver for him to sign it. He's going to put a sticker on it, and then you're going to sign it saying, yes, uh, you know, yes, it has been delivered, and they give you some tracking on it. But all in all, that is how to do a pallet. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but this is going to save you a lot of shipping costs, especially if you're doing bulk. So keep that in mind I don't have the particular numbers in for you I know this was about a thousand fifty two book shipment so take that for what it is if you send a thousand uh, thousand fifty two book shipment on um, uh, on small parcel that would cost you a fortune I think this cost uh, I think it's just a just a hundred or hundred or two hundred so overall not bad in terms of how many books He's shipping. But anyway, this is Frank with Little Al. I'm going to get back to work and do some work. <laughs>